Canola was in full bloom at Yagara on Monday as people flooded into the small country town for a great afternoon of racing action, highlighted by Australasia's richest maiden race, the Canola Cup. The town of about 550 swells to more than 1,000 for the long weekend in October and with Mother Nature playing her part, the sun shone brightly as the marquees were packed and the race goers settled in for an exciting afternoon. The Agara Club is run by a small committee of hard-working harness racing enthusiasts and with President Lex Crosby at the helm, the club continues to improve every year. This year, the club proudly worked from a new office block with Harness Racing New South Wales board members on hand for the official opening ceremony. Lex Crosby was thankful to the Hay family for their donation to the club of the office block and to those who had helped the club run another smooth day. Yeah, it's a brand new office block, uh, Greg. It's come from the Hay Sawmill. It's 100 years of um, history of the Hayes family. Um, saw milling in Yugara. We've been lucky enough to get hold of this building, which uh, they've partly donated. Harness Racing New South Wales through the Race Course Development Fund have done the rest and uh, a bit of local volunteers, and uh, we've got it here. So. Must have been a lot to you. Um, you know, obviously, you guys put in a lot of work, but for the Hay family to uh, to part donate it to you guys, and then obviously to get the help from Harness Racing New South Wales, it, it, it rewards the club for all the hard work they put in. Uh, it, we're very honoured, Greg. You know, it's. Um, we're very honoured that people help us and, and work with us and it's all about working with us I think you know and Harness Racing New South Wales I think you've, all, you've realised that country racing is a very very big part of, um, of harness racing we're not like our country thoroughbred cousins and uh, not very many good horses come out of the country in the thoroughbreds but a lot of good horses are trained and driven and, and owned and bred in the country even I heard the other day that the three-year-old of the year is bred, owned, trained and driven in New South Wales country. For a number of years, the voice of harness racing in New Zealand, Mark McNamara, has returned to Australia to call the Canola Cup and again he made himself at home in the broadcast box. McNamara will continue to return to Yagara as often as the club will have him and loves the atmosphere the meeting creates. Yeah, they keep asking Greg, I'll keep coming back. They just do a great job, Jody and Lex and the committee here. $30,000 CEO in our group state is just, um, it's just full credit to them. Um, the day gets better and better every year. Temperature, a bit warmer for a, a Kiwi now this time of year, but still just a super day of racing. And some of the times, amazing. 156 or 157 in the cup. Um, superb effort. And we continue to see these Kiwis come over, uh, ex-Kiwis, and, and win these uh, win this feature race. Yeah, I think if you can get the right one with a bit of gate speed, they've got a bit of um, bottom about them. And they've um, raced horses that... They've beat them 1-1 one, one over there or they've been close around the money and just um, get on the speed and race hard. And, and the two today come from the North Island. I'm the one down um, from the North Island and Tello was too, but um, he just went to another level today. Oh, I am the one, just super. Trainer Steve Turnbull has trained more than 600 winners in the past three seasons, but this special race had eluded him up until Monday and he was very proud to finally add his name to the honour roll. Uh, I had a horse a couple of years ago and uh, he only ran third in the final and he went on run twelve his next 12 straight so you've got to have a nice horse on the day here and uh, yeah to have one now I'm, I'm really proud. The feature sprint of the day was the Pepper Tree Farm Don Tilsley Memorial and former Canola Cup winner Holy Camp Clive indicated he was set for a big campaign, holding off proven Menangle performers Lochinvar and Jedi Mind. Holy Camp Clive will remain in the country for the time being, but will return to a city stable in the future, according to trainer Robert Anderson. Yeah, we'll push him around here for a little while, but then they end up back down there. Yeah. I don't know which way we go, whether we'll be sitting in a little bit. Yeah. So again, the Canola Cup meeting was a winner and already the club is planning on making the day even bigger and better next year.